Why do they call this a ring bus? What is the reliability and flexibility of this configuration? And finally, what advantages and disadvantages does this bus configuration have? This is what we will try to answer in this video. Before we get started, if you are new to my channel, my name is Daniel and I'm an electrical engineer based in Texas. And on DC Engineering, we explore and expand our knowledge on all things related to substation design, design engineering. Let's get into the video. Let's start off with the component identifiers and definitions. In the upcoming slides, I will be showing you circuit breakers, disconnect switches, and bus. Additionally, for illustration purposes, components shown in red will be energized, and components shown in blue will be de-energized. This will clearly show the outcomes of faults, and finally, I want to define some terms I will be using. Reliability and flexibility. A substation's reliability is de determined by its ability to remain energized in the event of a fault. For example, if there's a fault on the bus and the whole substation goes down, then reliability is low. A substation's flexibility is determined by its ability to remain energized during changing conditions. For example, if a single breaker in the substation needs to be serviced, will the whole substation need to be de-energized or can you do a partial outage where customers downstream are not affected by this? Ring bus configuration. In the ring bus configuration, the circuit breakers are arranged in a ring with lines connected between the circuit breakers. There will be the same number of lines as there are circuit breakers. Let's determine the reliability. If we were to have a fault on the line between breakers 2 and 3, then breakers 2 and 3 would trip. And this would isolate the fault and the other three lines could still operate. Let's take that same scenario and add in that breaker 3 had a breaker failure, meaning it failed to trip. If this were the case, then breaker 4 would trip causing two lines to go down. And this is the reason to stagger the load sources. I have those shown in yellow here. If load sources weren't staggered and both sources were lost due to a breaker failure, then the whole system would go down, ultimately making this system high on the reliability scale. Let's determine the flexibility. Let's assume that circuit breaker number one needs to be removed from service for maintenance. None of the lines would experience an outage because of the configuration making this configuration high on the flexibility scale. The advantages of the ring bus configuration are high reliability, flexibility of operation, low cost, any breaker can be removed from service without outage. Disadvantages of this configuration include complex protective relaying and control. Failed breaker during fault causes outage of one additional circuit. And finally, the application of the radio bus configuration is for substations from 115 to 345 kV. I got some bonus tips for y'all too. I'm going to be adding some practical tips at the end of my videos that really help me feel more confident in my field. One tip is to plan your work week in advance and run it by your lead or supervisor. This does two things. Number one, it removes ambiguity on what it is you're supposed to work on. I know when I started, I would always be worried if I was meeting expectations or not. I would worry if I'm taking longer than expected on a task. I would feel this personally because I feel like I'm a slow learner. With that being said, benefit number two would be that planning my week in advance and running it by my lead would give them the opportunity to say, yes, that plan will keep us on track to hit our deadlines or no, you might have to add these tasks as well. Alrighty friends, we just talked about the ring bus configuration, advantages, disadvantages, the reliability and the flexibility of this configuration. Subscribe to be notified on my next video talking about what a breaker and a half bus configuration is. If you haven't checked check out this video where I talk about what a radio bus design is, like and subscribe and thanks for watching.